Hey guys, Edward, and today we're going to be playing some more Kaisencraft. Now, I have to say something. Last episode, you may have noticed, it was a bit random time lapse. Well, <laughs> what I did is recorded two hours worth of footage. I only put about an hour and a half, an hour, uh, yeah, an hour and a bit of footage on there, but I had my microphone muted recording two hours of footage which was so depressing because I did I don't I, what we did is we built this turret this episode we're going to build that one and we would do we got my helmet which we re-enchant with quite a good quite a good enchantment and we repaired all my armor and my mouse is super twitchy why oh adjusted it for a different mouse and I have finally made the switch. I am now using Premiere Pro. <laughs> I, well, I'm not using it. I'm experimenting. My graphics teacher, I've talked to him about it, and he seems to be okay. Well, we had to probably chat for an hour and a half today about just using it. So I hope these sounds aren't too bad. I'm actually going to just lower it down to like. 10% because I actually can't hear them and can't see the feedback so I don't know how loud they are and I'm using a different microphone this episode I'm using my lavalier because I am not where I normally record I'm in a different house but yeah these villagers are breeding quite a lot like a lot, a lot. so what we're gonna do this episode is we're gonna finish I'm gonna cut this tree down if I can get up there, okay. And we are going to build the last turret. And what I'm going to do, I will insert this probably towards the end of this. I actually might do a next episode, but I'm going to do a time lapse of me building the or roofs because these roofs are faster to build. So that roof, that roof, or that roof, stone, and that roof. And then we're going to have to join. Do the similar thing to this, but from that one to this one, and this one to that one, and that one to this one. Now my plan is, I think, I'm going to make it join up with this. So it's going to go, it'll go across like that, and then have a brace go from there, to there, there, to there, but on this side. So, <clears throat> I'll see how interesting that'll look. But, before all that, we have got to build the second turret. The final turret, the right height. I think I've nearly finished it, but once I have cut this tree down, and yeah, we're going to go, I believe I nearly finished the floor on this level, so if I can go, thing, eh. I'm not in, mood, not, not in the mood to fail in building today, I've just Absolutely knackered from my schoolwork, completely shattered. It is actually Friday night, it is 8 o'clock, and I forgot that I actually don't have any videos on queue to be uploaded, so I will have to, and this will probably take a couple of hours, I was actually going to be working on my short film that I will link in the description of, actually I won't because I haven't finished it. <coughs> Normally I would if I did something, but... I'm looking at a short film in the town I live in, and, or used to anyway. I actually, well, I'm in it right now, but we travel for school. We li we rent a house for school and live in that. But the one I'm in right now <coughs> is the house we actually own. And yeah, I'm making a video of this town. It's very interesting. It's taken me six months or so to get all the footage for it because I've had to um, get my friend Lockie down with his drone, we film for that, go to the beach. I've got all the cameras but I didn't have the drone footage and really the time because I'm either working or doing videos like this or working on schoolwork, actually working at my job, <coughs> which I've got two jobs. If you don't know, I actually have two jobs. One of them is dishwasher. I do dish, well, dishwasher slash runner. I do milkshakes and some food, and that's about it, at a co local coffee shop. And I also manage the social media for the same coffee shop. Um, so I go down there every weekend, take as many photos as I possibly can, or try and make them as good. I'll actually link, the, link in the description the coffee 
shop if I remember <coughs> and I run the social ma manage the social media so I take the photos write the posts and upload them every I think we do a post every two days or so so that's quite a busy job that's what I get paid for that now I never used to but now I do so I'm very glad about that and yeah so that's that's one thing I have all my schoolwork I finished I handed in my major project on Friday last day it was due to be handed in I wanted to get it all corrected or what probably went over it seven or eight times because I have really bad grammar I actually have dysgraphia which is a learning difficulty it's like a minder disease <laughs> and it's not a disease really but I have problems with spelling and not reading I'm glad I didn't get that part of it but I have um, diagnosed dysgraphia not just I have dysgraphia because I said so I have gone to a minder place <laughs> now a place where you get diagnosed for something like that and I have it it's a little bit it makes learning new things really difficult actually like writing like Chinese for example bastard of a thing to learn because I can't remember the characters to write now you know what I just did is I just started pillaring up without care of how high this thing has to be because I didn't bother remembering so the block it's actually 46 blocks tall so the problem with having dysgraphia is your grammar is rubbish I've worked on it a lot it's definitely improving definitely improving did a lot of tutoring um, at school my school offers free tutoring it's really really lucky it's so expensive otherwise so now we've got to work out how, how tall this is so 46 blocks is I believe the height of it 3 4 by 6 okay so we'll just do this so that's as high as the um, pillar that they have to be it's as tall as I have to be and I worked that out basically by just going from eh to eh with blocks I don't think I did it in the time lapse but I did it on that one and that one so I'm just remembering it now Oh, there goes my neck. But one thing I have noticed is my computer is not equipped for map for um, running Premiere Pro. I do have a if I can, oh, I don't want to show my serial number. Um, I can do it on this screen. I'll just read it out. Oh yeah, so I have a a 2017 late 2017 I think. Yeah, it'll be something like that. I got it at the end of 2017. It's probably made mid 2017 MacBook Pro with a Touch Bar. 3.1 to 3.5 gigahertz Intel Core i5 with four cores, eight gigs of RAM, and a 512 256 gigabyte SSD in it. And on top of that, I have a four terabyte four terabyte LC hard drive that I use for all my video projects. And it barely runs Premiere Pro, like just it's just on the verge of unusable. It is because I'm very new to it, and I probably haven't set up the GPU GPU um, acceleration or G, not acceleration. Jesus Christ, G, GPU usage. I don't think I've actually got it enabled yet, so it just pins the CPU at one hundred percent the whole time, and it sounds like a it's going to fly off the. It sounds like a jet airplane on takeoff <laughs> when I render a video or do it. It's not even rendering when you're working with. Um, 4K 60 FPS, I think it was. I no, we turned it down to 24. 4K 24 um, video, it poos itself. So yeah, I need. I'm not looking at any computer because Final Cut Pro works perfectly, seamlessly. But I think that's just because of Apple's optimization. So that works perfectly fine on this computer, and I'm perfectly happy to use it. I'm just learning how to use Premiere Pro because what I, if you don't know, my plan for my career when I get out of school is I, I like film and television. I love doing it. I love editing as well. So I want to, not necessarily, I probably won't end up starting off doing this. I want to eventually get be at the stage where I'm able to get a job. But I'm, I'm debating about going to university because they cost, I think it's $25,000 for four years or five years, I think. So it's 6000 or something a year. And... My country, if you're watching from another country, we have something called HEX, where the government will pay your uni fees until you think earn over fifty-five thousand dollars a year. So once you start earning over fifty-five Australian dollars, so if you're an American, one Australian dollar is seventy-five US cents, so it's about thirty-five thousand dollars, something around there. 
um, you end up paying your hex back. The problem with that is there's not not all film schools unless you're a I think Indigenous Australian um, can get the benefit of having hex at film schools. Like I know I was looking at going to afters at an Australian film television and radio school. Um, and that was like a seventy thousand dollar course for five years, which is a ma massive amount of money. I'd never pay for it, but you know you don't get um, hex any hex benefit unless you're an indigenous Australian, <clears throat> which I don't think is fair at all. And yeah, I just decided not to go to that because I don't want to be a university. I don't want to go to that university because a it's really expensive, so it's just too too much and B it's also in Sydney I have an aunt who does live in Sydney but I would have to rent an apartment and I don't think I could afford to pay the $750 a week or whatever it is to rent an apartment in Sydney because that's what it costs for a basic not even like doesn't even have it's like a one it's a room basically with a kitchen a bed and a lounge room in the same room where it will be all, like it'll be and there'll be like seven hundred dollars a week. You have a bathroom, but that's it. It's not ex it's and there would be like mm. so that's closed option. The other option is um oh why the hell I can't Swinburne, there we go. Swinburne has a amazing facility, but that is twenty five thousand dollars a year. But I need to have an ATAR of 90 or above. The average for, I think, my school is 75 or 80. I think 85 is the average. 75 is the national average. My school is 85, so I may be able to get it. I've So far this year, two last two years, I've been really pushing myself. That's why I'm shattered after school. I'm doing four or five hours of extra work at night in year eight and nine and ten just to plan for the future. Um, cause I re and I might, I, cause I, I think I could afford that because Hex does cover this university. I think if you Google Swinburne, it's one of the top 400 unis in the world. I think top 3%, something like that. And it is in Melbourne. And the great thing is it's a 10 minute drive from where my grandpa lives. And I'm we're really close to my grandpa and he has two spare bedrooms in his house. And he said, if I go to university and he's still around, he, I can board at his house. The other option would be when, if he does end up dying, cause his house was his grandpa's, was his father's. Um, it was a commission home for return, return veterans, but now because it is in Ashburn and the property I think was given, I think he bought it for $40,000 and now it's worth nearly, I think, two and a half million dollars. It's like amazingly expensive. And what we would probably do is sell that and you buy an apartment in the middle of Melbourne that I would pay my parents to uh, <laughs> pay my parents to live in, which would be great. But this is all like three years in the future. I'm definitely going to have to have a gap year because I'm going to have to work for paying off university, not paying off, like paying for just getting money in the bank. I've also got this year in September, I am able to apply for my license, kind of turn 16. Because if you're living in America and you don't know why a 16 year old can drive, in the South Australia, I think in a few other states, but in South Australia, um, you can you can get your learners the day you turn 16. All my friends who have turned 16 have their learners. So we can drive with an adult in the passenger seat. And then we have our P-plates, which we can get, I think it's six months later, you can get P-plates, which allows you to drive, but you can't see the limit, speed limit of 100 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour, 65 miles an hour. And you can't go... Um, can't carry more than one passenger that isn't immediate, isn't family, not immediate family, I think it isn't family, unless you have a fully licensed sober passenger, truck passenger in the front, front passenger. Yeah, that's how that works. But I could be 17 and be able to drive basically anywhere. And I don't think we can drive between 9 p or 9, 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. I think we're not allowed to drive. Or was it 10 p.m.? I think it's 10 p.m. Yeah. No, it's 9 p.m. Yeah, if you can't tell, I've read the handbook, which is really dumb. <laughs> but not dumb, it's just some of the things in it don't actually make sense and are illogical. But it's the law, so you have to abide by it. So, yeah, I actually haven't read the whole thing. I've only read half of it, but um, 
and we are allowed to do our test. So if I, the day I turn 16, I can walk to the, um, not police station, I can't remember what it's called now, the driver's education place or whatever it is, and I can apply, well you take a test, takes five, ten minutes, and you have your learners and you drive out there with your parents. My parents are never going to drive again because <laughs> I'm going to be driving them everywhere. And because we're in the country, I think we have to have, I think, a thousand or a hundred hours of daytime and I think at least 50 hours of nighttime driving. And because I live in the country, um, is he wait 10 minutes? There you go. Because I live in the country, I don't have. I don't have to worry about that sort of, sort of thing. So, um, the distance from my house to the closest city, the closest city with more than 10,000 people, because the city is like, Peak Man Gamia has 20,000 people, and that's an hour and a 40 minute drive away from where I am. And the closest major city um, is Adelaide, and that is a four hour drive from where I am right now. So, yeah, and my parent, my mum travels a lot for her work because she does a lot of coffee training, and I often come along with her to help and learn. Last, um, actually, the beginning of this term, this not term, this year we went to the Melbourne International Coffee Expo in Melbourne, and that's a six six and a half hour drive from here. So we, yeah, that sort of thing. That means I'll be able to drive. When my mum does that, I'll be able to come and I can drive her, take the pressure off her driving because she does so much driving. And because she has a bad neck, it would be very, very, very helpful if I was to help her drive, drive some of it. So it also rack up the points so I can get on my P plates and drive constantly. Yeah, so that's, that's where it is. It's quite interesting. I think you guys enjoy talking. I certainly enjoy videos when they talk more than they um, actually time lapse. Like I enjoy time lapses, like it's fun. I love watching them. But I think if I've done a video like I did last time, where a whole video was a time lapse, I'm not going to do a time lapse of this video. And yeah, when I go away, what I end up doing is because I can't usually can't have it make a full recorded video like this. I can only do 10, 15 minutes. I'll record the 10, 15 minutes. And then time lapse it, and then I'll do a video. Like I think I did one for Pinecraft. You might have seen it. If you haven't, what happened is I went. I started the first video I ever did on this YouTube channel. I think I actually recorded while I was on holiday, and that was when I was able to because we had a day where I just recorded like twelve videos because I had fun. Went to my parents are at business meetings and talking to other accountants all day, so I had to stay here in the hotel room, which I just enjoyed. <laughs> I just spent the whole time playing Minecraft. Recording, so yeah, that's what I ended up doing, and I just had the time. But after that, I think I recorded five videos, and after that, I wasn't able to record anymore because obviously it's a hotel room. There's one bedroom or two bedrooms. My brother and mine, and my parents, and you can't exactly lock yourself in the bedroom and not have interruptions every ten seconds. And this is the time before I had you had um, used Notepad to write down all the notification, all the interruptions, and all the edit points. Now, if you're wondering how I, because when I edit a video that's 40 minutes long, it'll probably only take me 40 minutes, or half an hour video will take me 40 minutes to edit, because it'll probably take five, six minutes to five, ten minutes to edit all the video together, and then probably take an hour to, well, half an hour to watch over the video. How, depending on how long the video is, is how long. Because you have to, I always watch over the full length of the video in case I miss something or didn't write something down. Because I have uploaded and I have had to actually take the video down and re upload it and reschedule everything else around it because I accidentally said shite or I swore. Didn't realize that and then I was just watching it back a couple of days later. Just, oh, but, uh, and I realized that I had and I had to think I could have done YouTube the edit, editor on the live thing, but I decided just to delete it, re-upload it, and that seemed to have resolved the problem. So, yeah, I quite enjoy doing that. I definitely love doing YouTube. Like, I was, just before this, I was like, oh, I've got to do another YouTube video. But when you get into it like this, I really enjoy it. I like just having a chat. 
I always talk. I'm a talker at school. Always have been. Always get, yeah. Damn it. I always get in trouble for talking too much. I usually end up talking to the teachers, actually. Ironically, the most than anybody else. It's usually who I end up talking quite a lot to. So, yeah, I enjoy talking. That's my main. Maybe I might end up being a political commentator, not political commentator, like a journalist that just talks for hours and hours and hours and hours upon things that nobody ever listens to. That would be quite funny. But yeah, no. I definitely love making YouTube videos. I don't do it because oh, I want to be famous or I want to make money. I just enjoy it because I just like making content. I just like doing it. It's just fun. Enjoy it. I like getting views and it just makes you feel happy because, you know, somebody out there is actually watching your video, which makes me feel really happy. I wonder... I'm downloading this software called GoPro Studio, and the only reason I'm doing it is because it allows me to um, color grade a lot easier than Premiere Pro at this stage, because some of the footage I have is really, really badly exposed, and I can't get, because I'm really inexperienced, so I have no experience with Premiere Pro at all, I needed to, I need to um, color grade, so I've decided just to do it using... Um, what's it called, GoPro Studio, and because my graphics teacher said, I suggest, like he, I saw him using it, and he said, yeah, I use this, and he showed me how to use it, probably half an hour or so, and it's actually really simple, it really is really easy to use, so he gave me a copy of it, and I had to download it um, off the school um, computer, like a remote into our desktop, into my, because we have designated computers in our graphic department, so you get this iMac for a year or whatever. I actually only use my personal computer. I use my laptop because that's just how I do things. <laughs> and I decided just to put it on that because I couldn't. It was for some reason we couldn't get it to go from that to this. So we just put it in the um, graphic department NAS and I just downloaded it then for using screen share. Because you actually have the computer for a year. So you, nobody, well, other people use it but with different users, so there'll be, I think, five users, and I get computer for a year, so I logged in with my iCloud and all that sort of stuff on it, and that'll sign out. They have an automatic system that basically resets everything but the hard drive every year, so if you don't, if you forget to sign out, it just deletes the account, but none of the data. I don't know how it works, but that's so they don't have any confidential, so I just did screen share, and it also means if I'm doing, if I want to, I can remote in for homework, I don't need to because I do it all on my laptop, but yeah. It's quite good. I really like that, how we can do that. It's a bit buggy because of just the way the school manages remoting. Like, I actually can't remote into the server from school because they block remote, because they block all the like, websites like Facebook and they don't want you to remote in to like a remote computer like my Mac Mini at home and not be, and just browse on there. Not that anybody just uses VPNs because it, that literally works. Like, all you have to do is install a VPN on your computer. Oh, and it works. I do this because for some really dumb reason, they block YouTube at recess on lunch. And when you're trying to do a research project, it is a pain in the ass. Because I was watching a document in religion, which is just. Oh, okay. Flying is unable. Yeah. This is my brilliant latency, I'm going to assume. No connection. Great. This is my life every time I record a video at this house. Oh, that's great, Ping. 1,742. That usually is about 20. This is an Australian server. Yay. Kyson's uploaded a few videos lately. Um, I haven't really actually viewed them. If this doesn't... There we go. Okay, it seems to be working. Yeah, what video? I should check over here. What did he upload? Checked yesterday. I think it was to do with his shop. Yeah, he's uploaded a yeah Carson store Carson Craft merch shop. Had a bit of time on the server, three days and five hours. So what's that? Forty-eight plus twenty-four. I can't do math right now. My brain's <coughs> um forty-eight plus twenty-four. So what's that? <laughs> plus. This is how we do maths. It's going to be like 60-something, 60, 60, 72 hours, 72, 77 hours on this server. 
That's quite a lot. So it's taking me 77 hours overall. And I've, that's actually because they never used to have that on the Carson Craft. So when I started on this, I probably probably put probably eh, probably put like 10 or 12 hours before that even before they had this system in place, which checked your time, how much you'd played on it. So. Yeah, I think this is starting to come along really nicely, once we get this turret done. I don't believe we'll have enough wood, so we need 46, so that's a stack and a half, two stacks, three. Yeah, we can do that to there. We have to chop another tree down, let's just hope one of those mega trees grow. Looks like one of the small ones did, but... Okay, I love having feathers falling, because we take basically no damage, we take damage, but all my deaths... I would have had probably like two. Well, actually, probably would have had seven deaths from PvP battles if I hadn't built this castle because of feather falling. I hope they don't reset the castle castle. We'll get near the finishing and then castle reset forever. So yeah, the last server we had played on, I don't. I think I did a series on it, but I didn't ever upload it because the season got reset before it, and then I got distracted with school and work stuff. Um, this was like probably a year and a half ago when I was planning to do a YouTube channel but then I got distracted with I got a new job, I did all this Instagram management and I started with all the year 10 stuff and planning year 9. So I ended up just canning it. But what happened is the world of all things got corrupted. So what happened was my place was perfectly okay, but everywhere else seemed everywhere else but me seemed to have their world or the, their building or chunk you know, what I think had happened is the server had lost um and the backups weren't fixing it, it was just broken. We reinstalled backups, still didn't fix it, so we ended up just having to reset the server. And it it was a bit of a disappointment because we built a massive, we hadn't built a massive, but we built a turret probably that size on the top of a mountain. We are building all these rooms and so we had a really intricate garden system where you'd pull a lever and a harvest all the wheat and then, I don't know, we weren't in plan of that. And it was just an interesting farm. It worked really well. So I was a little bit disappointed that it was. I'm surprised that zombie hasn't gone and killed all the villagers over there yet. Which I'm actually really surprised because he's... Oh no, uh oh, he wants to get to the top before he does. No, 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 so I don't have to end the video off here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to record another one tomorrow to upload. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're wondering, I upload my videos at midnight. It's 8 o'clock. So this video is being uploaded four hours, or it's being released four hours after. I hope this doesn't take four hours to upload because I have no idea. But what I'm going to do before I disconnect is torch this area so we don't get mobs spawning. Because we don't want that. And then coming back online tomorrow. And oh no, all the villagers are gone. <laughs> that would be pretty disastrous. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.